So it is, uh, looks like it's Charles Leclerc on pole position as the race gets underway. George Russell alongside him on the front row. So maybe Christian Lungard did get a five place penalty. So it's Leclerc that leads into the first corner. George Russell in second in the Williams. Artur Leclerc, Charles' younger brother, is running in third place. Alex Albin in fourth. Louis Delatraz in fifth. On the brakes, down into turn three. Van Dorn, Latifi, and Jimmy Broadbent once again proving adept at making his way through the field. What a spinning round there, and that's not what the Red Bull needed. Alexander Albon heading backwards. He's not the only one with the Toro Rosso heading off. Everyone's suffering from that. Johnny Herbert, I think, is one of them who's taken a big hit. Uh, Nunzio Todisco, I think, is the Toro Rosso, um, the Alpha Tauri that went into the wall, even though it is a Toro Rosso in this game. But Charles Leclerc is leading. I think Lando Norris's game is not working. That's why we're not seeing him in the race. He had all sorts of trouble two weeks ago. And again, uh, it looks as though Lando Norris things are not working oh. out for him. Round goes Ben Stokes and uh, doesn't quite make it to the boundary. Gets back onto the circuit and gets going again. That's going to be my only cricket pun because I haven't really got any more. But uh, Ben Stokes caught in the slips. <laughs> That's one as well, isn't it? Lungard, it will be raging to have lost that pole position, but he's uh, applied himself nicely here. Not cutting the track too much. Oh, Leclerc, so close. Leclerc, the younger that is, so close to losing it. He's got that DRS because he's enraged for George Russell, who's been left behind right now by the two-time Formula One race winner, Charles Leclerc, winner in Belgium, winner in... Oh, into the wall goes. Was that Louis Delatraz losing it? I think it was Louis Delatraz down to seventh position. What is Delatraz doing? <laughs> And he's in the DRS range. Leclerc are beginning to struggle. This is going to give a great opportunity to Lungard, who's side by side with him already, compromising the Ferrari's line. And now with DRS, big opportunity as they go down to turn one. This has got to be it, hasn't it? Leclerc, just a couple of wheels on the dirt as he came down into turn 13. They're side by side, round oh! the outside from Christian Lungard. What a great move. And I think Artur Leclerc's in trouble. I think the uh, younger brother of Charles has gone around and George Russell is back up now into third place. Giovinazzi is up into fourth. George, if you did four laps, you can run out of fourth. second lap to the car behind, <laughs> one second. If you did oh, it for last. I talked to me in the corners. I didn't bend it. No. Oh. No. No, it's not your fault, mate. I'm struggling with the tyres at big time. What is going on with the grip? As we go on board with Louis Delatraz, who is trying to salvage a race that had a spin, so he lost a, at least five seconds. Can Delatraz pull the move then? One current Formula 2 driver against the second tier champion, and he'll hope, let's see, is the Mercedes disappearing from view? No, it's not! Committed stuff from Van Dorn, and he stays ahead for the time being. And now, will he hug the inside line? And Van Dorn doing the same thing again. So it's going to have to be a Lungard-esque move around the outside. Is he? Oh, he's squeezing him this time, and this time he's got the position up to sixth place. Button in the McLaren and uh, Albon in the Red Bull. They're both on the medium compound attire as well, I think. And Albon late in the day down into turn one, not quite close enough. Did a famous late lunge on a McLaren at Suzuka. Can he pull off another one here in Melbourne? Goes to the outside. Button holds the inside line. You're not getting past Button easily. Well, he's putting a lot of trust in the 2009 world champion who's lucky to keep it out of the wall that Delatraz visited and up to 10th place goes Alex Albert. What a tank slapper from Button. Brilliant stuff. He managed to hold on though and Alex Albert's oh. up to 10th but he's cool thoughted it down at turn 13, uh, turn 15 I should say and that allows Button back through. So after all that hard work from Alex Albert, Jensen Button is there to take advantage and get back up into 10th place but this is the battle for 4th place now. Uh, Giovinazzi in the Alfa Romeo, in the Haas is Louis Delatraz on the run down towards Turn 1. Delatraz has DRS, but won't go... Ooh, he won't go for the outside of Turn 1 this time! Oh, he's lost it! And into the wall for the second time today! But the real battle at uh, the top end between Leclerc, that's Arthur Leclerc, and Antonio Giovinazzi, less than a second, and Ooh. we're heading to it right now. And he closes in on Giovinazzi for fourth place. How hard is the Alpha going to fight? Not that hard. Didn't cover the inside line. And Arthur Leclerc sends it through. And he'll get the DRS again. 
on the run down towards turn three, so that should be fourth place now. Button covers the inside on the run down to turn one. Latifi switches back to the oh, whoa, super oh, late on the brakes. Oh, last of the late breakers from Jensen Button to stay ahead for the time being. After seeing that, will Latifi put himself on the outside? I wouldn't be so sure. He has gone for that run once again. Button goes deep, and this time too deep. Off to the gravel and off to the rearview mirror for Nicholas Latifi, who's up to 11th place. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. We've been there. Oh, sorry, Arthur. Is that going to affect my tyres a lot? Am I gonna, I'm going to get a penalty for that, aren't I? Charles Leclerc across the line to win the virtual Grand Prix in Australia. A dominant performance from Charles Leclerc in Melbourne, three weeks too late.